Hi there and welcome to another episode. Today is a rather special one. It's an on the road. We are out with the story of guitar heroes. Um, it's going to be over the next two days. It's going to be a bit of a, a video diary of what goes on. We've just arrived at G Live in Guildford, and very shortly we will be going into the venue, and um, we'll we'll give you a tour around. Okay, so uh, back with you in a minute. So here we are inside the venue. Let's go onto the stage, see what's happening. Oh, there we go. The guys are bringing the gear in. People there. This is a this is the G Live venue in Guildford. Packed this evening. Oh, and there was our bass player. Where's he gone? There he is. He's just going round in ever decreasing circles. <laughs> Typical bass player. <laughs> Typical bass player. Sound check's done. I'm going to show you around the stage quickly. This is Christian's kit. Rather nice looking kit there. And walk around this way. And here you'll. Oh, actually, let me show you this. You see, got a lovely crimson guitar there. Lovely. And then we come up to my pedal board. I'm going to give you a big rundown on this in another episode. And there you go, there's some set lists. And we'll go to Toby's side of the stage. Toby's pedal board. Looking a lot thinner than it used to do. <laughs> Here's some of Toby's guitars. And then over to our bass player's side of the stage. There's, oh, there's my lovely precision bass Jim's carving another precision and an Ibanez we will get Jim on the show to give us a rundown of all his gear play some more Jim's gear some more exquisite line 6 equipment and this is the view from Jim's riser. Here's some of my guitars. There's the Line 6 Fairy X, my old Fender, my not so old Fender, my bits of Fender, my leather Fender, my Ernie Ball Music Man, my Crimson Descendant Drop Top and my Mirrored Ibanez. Stay tuned for showtime.
So that was the end of day one. Join us tomorrow where we're in Hunstanton. We've now got a long drive back to somewhere. <laughs> somewhere near Bury St Edmunds, I think. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow in Hunstanton. Hello and welcome to day two of our mini tour. We are in Hunstanton. We've just arrived here. I think we're going to go for an ice cream before we get into the venue because you've got to get your priorities right. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have an ice cream. And once we've had that, um, which I think is going to be vanilla with strawberry sauce. Yeah. Uh, after that, then uh, we'll get into the venue and we'll show you around. OK, see you in a minute. <laughs> Stanton Theatre and I'm polystyrene cup of tea and I am just about to show you what's going on over there. So here we are, the back of the theatre and lots of work going on on stage. People talking, people working, very busy. Going up the stairs now to the stage and we'll start over here who normally plays this ah christian hello hello there how you doing how you doing all right I'm very well thank you just getting set up here in the uh, princess theater no oh, lovely and, and, and what kit have you got chris a drum kit uh, <laughs> we kind of figured that we kind of figured uh, it's that. a carrera custom kit i had it built about five years ago by uh, a chap called dave carrera based in middlesex and may I ask, what colour is the kit? It's tangerine. Tangerine, we'd just like to clear that up now before anyone tangerine. goes, that's a nice red kit. It's, it's not, not red. It's not, not red. orange. It's not orange, it's, it's tangerine. tangerine. Tangerine, okay. We've got 10, 12, 14, 16 inch toms. Yep. Got a the bass drum. Bass drum, 22 inch bass drum. Cool. Some power. This setup's a bit bigger this year. I've got four crashes as well which go on. And I'm not one for a big drum kit, but we were expanding the show this year, so I thought... So if we expand the show next year, it's going to get even yeah, bigger? Get even bigger. Excellent, that's what we like to hear. Yeah. And Lovely. I've even got a cowbell. More cowbell, please. <laughs> There's never enough cowbell. There is not. Cool. Um, Cheers, Chris. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'm going to carry on setting up. Okay, I'll leave you to it. See you, Jimmy. And we're going to go this way. And who we got over this side? Oh, that's, who's that? That's Steve. Hello. That's Steve. Steve is our techie, techie, techie. <laughs> Here's... As, she, as she's on his knees, I guess we call him low techie, techie. <laughs> <laughs> and up here, up here, we've got hey, we've got guys. Jim Reese, our bass player. Hello, hey, Jim. Yeah, right. How you doing? Yeah, good stuff. Let's have a look what gear you've got, Jim. Let's start so, this time. So, we're starting here. Uh, a 1991 Fuji Gem Factory Ibanez SR... 886, I think. Lovely. Yeah, 886, uh, which is used purely on such boogie. Lovely. Um, a custom made P bass from about 2002, uh, which is down tuned to uh, E flat standard. Lovely. So we've got E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat for some of the songs we down tune. Rocking. Um, the mainstay of the show for me is the carving. Yep. Um, basically, super active five string jazz uh, esque bass. Um, that's the mainstay for a lot of the um, lot of the songs, as a lot of them dictate that we need either five string or slightly heavier sounds uh, than a conventional um, passive bass. Lovely. And over here, we I have your bass. <laughs> I've seen that before. Um, which is a well, technically Fiesta Red, but more salmon pink. Um, That's a debate. Fifties <laughs> reissue, uh, P bass with flat rounds on it, which we use on um, Eddie Cochran, Bill Haley in the Comets, and Shadows, and comes in and out of the show quite a lot, depending on what we need. Good sound now, debate. down here, um, come up onto your plinth. Come up on, onto my platform, and here we have uh, Bass Products T Live. Um, we don't use any effects on it, it's purely, you can see there, red P bass, flat P bass, carving, Ibanez. Big feet. And <laughs> um, so that's pure what that's for, and uh, volume for when I need to do volume stuff. Um, then here we have a Polytune Mini, 
uh, just for tuning, because uh, on here I can't really see the tuner. I have the same problem. So yeah, we have yeah. externals. I think yeah. we've all got that except for Toby. Except for Toby. Toby went Hawkeye. On, Toby went minimalist this yeah, year. Yeah, went Hawkeye. For, for reasons that we will discuss <laughs> later. <laughs> and then I use a stage clicks uh, wireless system. Uh, which is soon to be changed for a Line 6 G50 system. Oh, that's what I use. Yeah. Great. That's what I'm getting one. Brilliant. Yeah. And yeah, it's a very small, simple setup for me. I don't know any other show really that I can use for plus bases on because next couple of months there will be plus. Hey. I think it's three or four. You need a bigger riser, more. Jim. I do. You need a bigger riser. Well, I think it's going to be seven or eight bases on the show. Well, They're hey. going to be used throughout the show. Stay tuned for that right one. Soon, cool. So. Wicked. We'll and look out. at this, look at this. We've got a drummer who looks interested in bass player stuff. It's worrying, yeah. isn't it? Wait while we start on the guitar stuff. Oh, and he'll probably run away then. We'll run away. <laughs> I play a guitar, I play a little red. He does, he does. Christian is also a guitar player. I We call him a guitarist, but he owns a guitar. <laughs> is, he, is he a guitarist? I own several guitars. You own several guitars. Do you? Oh, that explains a lot. So this, this is, this is going to be a competition now, isn't it? <laughs> competition. Well, you, there's about... You guys have about what, 10, 15 guitars each. Yeah. I'm going to have eight basses minimum. That's only fair. Yeah. That's only fair. Yeah, it's just about to drive a fan. <laughs> <laughs> More for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just, just want to uh, show low techie techie here that it, 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 sometimes things just don't go his way and he has to just like go into his little corner and, and just have a quick, you know, reflective moment on himself. Hello, Toby. Hello. How are you doing? Fabulous. We're in Hunstanton. We're in Hunstanton. And you, you've got a lot of guitars as well, Toby. Yes. Are you going to talk us through the guitars, yes. Toby? Yes. <laughs> this one's yellow. <laughs> <laughs> this one's black. Um, no, so, yes. So, the most important thing, obviously, first of all, is our Tupperware. Ah. And Tupperware is incredibly important as, <laughs> it, it, as a musician. <laughs> See, it, you must, you've got things like sealed, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, these are Sistema <laughs> pots. Everything's sealed. That's, that's good. Can we look in I've your... Got, I've got another one here, you see. Oh, that, this is even smaller, but this isn't quite so good because it's got worse clips. Oh. But it was one ninety nine, so it's good. Oh uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's quite an organised case you've got there, Toby. It's, it's good. Yes, it's good. Okay. So what we've got is the key. <laughs> um, so this is a Larabe acoustic. Yeah. Which is lovely. You've had that a long time. I've had that a long time. I don't like any other acoustics. I only like that one. Ah, that's fair enough. Um, I have a crimson. Uh, Artist descendant. This is your personal. My personal crimson. I said, I'm going to be arty very now. Very pretty. So it's got big stainless steel frets and a neck like a boat war. <laughs> um, that one gets used in the second half. I've got this tally. This is a Fender uh, 52 reissue, but it's got no headstock deco on it. Oh. Um, oh that's a shame. <laughs> there you go. P keep people guessing. Was it cheaper without the headstock deco? No, no, no. no. You pay more. Oh, okay. Keep people guessing. Um, <laughs> so, I've got four only ball Music Man guitars. They're the main ones I use. Am I right in thinking you've just brought one out of retirement? I've brought one out of retirement. It's, yes. It's lovely. Excellent. So I, we, we, I think we are going to do uh, an episode where we really go into detail over the, all the equipment. But uh, just for now, let's have a, yes. let's have a, let's have a brief okay, look Okay, brief, brief one. This one's kind of red, this one's white, this one's red, and this one's black. So, Excellent. this one's uh, a Music Man <laughs> silhouette, which is three single coils. And a, yep. 24 fret neck that gets used in E flat. Uh -huh. This is a Music Man Reflex. Oh, that's nice. Which is lovely. White. And it's white, oh. so it makes you play faster. Um, <laughs> and it affects its tone, definitely. Oh, okay. I, I find that. I play a Fiesta Red Strat. You can't do shadows on any other color. No, no, yeah. exactly. This one's um, a Music Man Albert Lee. That's almost Fiesta Red. Pink. Salmon pink. Pink. Salmon <laughs> pink. Um, and this has got a, uh, a tone Batman sticker on the back. It helps with the tone. How did you discover the Batman sticker, Toby? I dropped it out of the back of the car. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one's also an E flat. Yeah. Um, and it's great. It's got rosewood neck, so within about three years, I won't be able to take it out of the house. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, comments below, please. <laughs> Uh, this one's my main guitar. I use this most out of everything. This is a um, Music Man Silhouette Special. It's got the Paizo, which is great. And I use 
So yeah, this one's yeah. my most used guitar for everything really. It's marvellous. Crimson um, put some huge jumbo steel frets in there. Yeah. So that's what I like. And then my this guitar is rather special because I got this bought for me for my 30th birthday. I know all about that one. This one. Phil picked it out actually, I think. Yeah. You and my wife conspired. But yeah, we did. So this I took the scratch plate off recently. Oh, to show more it. wood. Oh, is it tone wood? Tone wood, <laughs> yes. Um, so that's a music man. Uh, Gibson Les Paul traditional yep. with a boat and it weighs as much as a small child. Actually, I've got a traditional as well, apart from the finish, they yeah, they're, um, they're pretty much the same. They even sound the same. And that's my guitars. I use the uh, Line 6 wireless. Yeah. Um, Let's have a look at your pedal board, Toby. It's incredibly tidy today. It is, and you've yes. lost a lot of pedals as well. And, and in another episode, I think we're going to have a chat about why you lost a load of pedals. Yeah. Um, this is. Yeah, the main one I really like is the Fisherman. That's the only outboard thing I use. So that emulates, it's like an IR loader, I suppose. But with the Paizo from the Music Man silhouette and the acoustic, it sounds marvellous. And a Pod it's HD brilliant. thing. The, oh, the, and more the importantly, brains of the unit, yes. The big decision always is, which slide do I use? Do I use one with a top on it, like this, which you can't get your finger in, and <laughs> through the end, or do you use one that goes right the way through? Does that depend on, on your fingers? Depends which Tupperware. Can I just, can I it's just... It's all in the Tupperware. Is it all in the Tupperware? I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of pan over a little bit and just see what happens when we start talking about guitars and things that bass players don't get. It all just goes wrong. Hey, I, I've got guitars and I'm, I play guitar as well. He's also got a cup on his head, I don't even know. <laughs> what cup? This is kind of my little... Oh, sorry, sorry. there's Ash again. This is my little area. Um, well, it's not my area. It's kind of Ash's area, really. But we've got we've got the old Strat in about to be restrung. Someone's calling me. I can wait a second. And then what we've got is the guitar vault with all my guitars in there. We're going to do demos on each one. I think you've already seen the black Strat demo. Let's put the very ass back. And over here, we've got a V. We've got my lovely Falcon Acoustic, my Gretsch, and my Brian Sexer 6120. There we go. So we made it. We made it. We towed G Live in Guildford. We made it to the Princess Theatre in Hunstanton and we're back home again. Um, absolutely shattered, but it was a fantastic couple of days. I hope you enjoy watching um, watching the video. I'm going to have a very, very well earned cup of tea now. So please like, subscribe, uh, leave comments below and uh, we'll see you on the road again sometime. Hope you've enjoyed it.